it's lot breaking kin today i'm going to be doing a raking tutorial so i'm going to explain how raking works i'm going to show you the different types of rakes um what tension to use how to use the rakes and showing padlocks that can and can't be raked so raking works by applying a small amount or a big amount of tension depending which lock so what you do with a rake is you you do it in and out or up and down you could do both and this mimics the key um of moving the pins up and down really fast and it just works really well well it doesn't require much skill but it requires a little bit of skill um and it's just really really useful when you can't single pin pick your lock so for example this lock has a rake looking key if you compare that to this rake here it looks like it can be raked so so what you do get your tension in it's better to use bottom as a keyway you just go like just and then you can go up and down as well i'm gonna have to take it off because oh my rake stuck so sometimes your rake might get stuck behind a pin which can be very frustrating so you just want to go like that in and out i did this one a couple of minutes let me just take it off camera. Okay, this one doesn't want to rake today because maybe it's just it has really cheap pins. Probably it's not a very good lock, so it's just ours. And then you've got wafer locks. You would also want to use the bottom of the keyway tension. A bigger tension tool if you can, so it fits nicely. And then you just grab your rake. And there we go. See that's open. So I raked going in and out. You can move it. Um, try move it a lot around. Okay, let's go on to a bigger padlock. So you've got this one. You want to use bottom of the keyway for all your locks. And you just put the rake in. And you see, just by wheeling it in and out, I've got that open. This is supposed to be a good padlock, but clearly not. Okay, let's see. So I've got this brink here. It's, it looks like it should be rakeable. But it doesn't rake for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why it doesn't rake. Um, this one is from Otter Arms. Oh, oh I did it. Okay. Um, I literally just stuck it in. Stuff stuck in here. And then you see I've got that open. Let's turn that call back and try that one more time. That was probably a fluke. So if you ever do need to get in something, it's probably a padlock that's never been picked before. So it probably just starts with a with a like a fluke, which allows you to easily rake it. So that's a good um, thing to learn to know. Then you got. Really bad last lock number threes, but can be raked in a couple of seconds. Probably less than a couple of seconds. So I literally just jab the pick in. Try, I think, take it all out, put it in. But that's because look at this bit in. It's com like completely like a rake. That's a really bad padlock. This works perfectly fine though. Then you got the old padlocks, which <coughs> can be a little bit of trouble sometimes. But 
because maybe the pins are just really old and they just don't really work anymore but mainly they're able to be raked see so i got that no shackle pop so just by doing the technique that i showed you i've got this lock open then we go on to this yale. This can't be raked, but just look at this evil bitting. It looks like a rake, but it does not rake at all. Maybe if you did it for like 10 minutes, it might open. You can see, I just put it in and it just does not rake. So this lock stands up pretty well, but it's quite expensive for these type. Okay, you can get either a four pin rake or a five pin. Um, they were even if you just got a five pin, it will work in a four pin. And if you got a four pin, it will work in a five pin. So you, it's better to get a couple so in case you break one. Um. Raking is really handy when you can't pick the a single pin pick the padlock because it's just an easy way to get into a padlock. So that's my raking tutorial. That's all for today's video and please like and subscribe.